Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 73 of Let's FIFA 13. And decide to to sell on the transfer inspired squad to build a new transfer transfer inspired squad uh, based on some of the transfer that was uh, applied to Ultimate Team last Tuesday. Uh, and the players we're kind of going for is the transfer David Villa, uh, Jesus Navas, and uh, we're getting Diakaite back into a side. We get Paulinho as well, and we'll also be getting Felipe Melo. Um, for the center defensive mid so that are kind of the the players I, I was looking to get and also Isco uh, was one of the players because uh, in the last in the last video where I created that other transfer inspired squad uh, some people would like to see me using some of the the new players who got transferred into ultimate team so that was kind of the idea behind this squad I would be playing David Villa and uh, Ronaldo as strikers uh, as despite them being left forward so they will of course not be getting the perfect chemistry but still they will do an all right job uh, which you'll see from the games and here yeah, just do the farm fine tuning to get everyone in the best of, uh, position possible so they will get a little bit more chemistry because even though uh, the console will show them getting free chemistry they will get a little bit more if you check it out on the web app so this is pretty much the squad on goal we have Louis just as in the other squad and uh, yeah, he's a he's an alright solid keeper dear Kai to the transfer version once again into the side and uh, yeah, he's just as good as his Lazio version of course uh, right center back we do have Kabul and you know he's a very very overpowered defender and the other center back is Kilini, which also is a quite fast good defending and heading and he li links up with Felipe Melo who is back from loan and back to Juventus now so yeah you have a quite good center deficit mid now in Juventus uh, even though there's a lot already and the other center deficit mid is Paulinho for Spurs he does have a high attacking work rate uh, but uh, all around very very good stats and his pace probably makes up for him having the high attacking work rate and only medium uh, defensive work rate but still uh, very very good stats on him right mid we do have Jesus Navas and yeah very very fast uh, long shot trade four star skills which looks quite good but the games are played so far with him he haven't really been that outstanding and I guess it's because we have Ronaldo and Villa on the top and um, creating most of the chances on the left mid we do have Rubinho he's a uh, I could have gone with the Mertens to get another transfer into the squad but I really wanted to have another five star skiller so uh, I decided to go with Rubinho center attack mid we do have Isco uh, all right pace a very very good dribbling and passing looks great as well hopefully he'll get a skill upgrade uh, for FIFA 14 because he he really deserves that I feel and it would be fun to use a little bit more than three star skills with him but still I want to get him into the side because he transferred to Real Madrid and the striker partnership is Ronaldo and David Villa it shows they only get free chemistry but if you go on the web app they will get a five and if you were to for example uh, take Ronaldo out of the side and place Falcao as a striker then David Villa would get, get the seven chemistry if there's two strong links to him but uh, still, it will work out with a 5 chemistry still. I'm not a fan of using left forwards as strikers, but I still feel um, David Villa, he, he should definitely be a striker. So yeah, I, I really want to try him out at the striker spot. And Ronaldo, I think he suits the left wing better, but still, uh, I want to get him into the side. And now when I was playing with Isco and David Villa, I thought, why not just try Ronaldo at the striker spot? And... Yeah, he, he's just a goal machine there. He scores a lot of goals uh, in the games that I play here. David Villa finding Ronaldo and he will get uh, his first goal because the other one didn't really count. It ended up being an own goal. But Ronaldo getting the goal there to make it 2-0. And a few minutes later, guess who's on the ball once again. And a nice little skill run here. Fake drag back to go past the first defender. Will jump to the side, past another one and take the shot to make it a 3-0. He will get back into the game. I rushed a little bit too much for trying to, to read the play, but I didn't get the ball, and it ended up costing me a goal. Should probably have backed off a little bit. But we go into the second half. We get a bicycle kick in there, but it will not go in. Instead, I could not get a tackle in there on Menace, and he will make it a 2-3. Putting a little bit of pressure on me, but then Robinho showing up here with a few skill moves out on the wing to make his way into the box. He hang, hangs on to the ball a little uh, over at Flake there, and in the end, he puts Puts it into the side net off the post to make it 4-2. And we'll get a fifth goal as well here off a corner. 
to make it 5-2 and one final chance Jesus Navas on the ball and this was pretty much the only time I really had him included in the play in the match so yeah I probably have to use him as a right wing uh, in another squad maybe in the future because I couldn't really get him included but still I win the game there 5-2 to two, uh, quite comfortable lead despite him getting back in the game there uh, in the beginning of the second half and we jumped in into another game and we come up against a very pacey Serie A side there with a barter as a center back uh, but we'll push for we are finding Rubinho and I just decided to take the goal to get the lead so not much stuff going on with that goal but uh, we continue on Ronaldo here 25th minute a lovely McGeady spin to go past two defenders and uh, we tried for a little ball roll fake drag back past the keeper and we actually end up picking up a penalty and David Villa will step up for that but hit the bar gave it a little too much power and uh, aimed a little, uh, little too long so uh, it went up on the bar but it will still keep on creating chances here's Rubinho on the ball and we pass it to David Villa, we'll go past two defenders with the fake shot and he makes up for missing the penalty because he gets a goal here to make it 2-0 but he gets back into the game, Morales somehow winning a header even though Paulinho is not that tall, he's still 20 centimeters taller than uh, Morales with the 160 centimeters. but still he gets the goal and he gets a second goal as well not me being able to clear the ball away but still Ronaldo showing up here to get me the lead back 3-2 and then uh, David Villa would show up with a nice little skill move here over the keeper with the rainbow flick unlucky he gets onto the ball I would like to have gotten the first time volley instead I tackle it over the line but still a goal is a goal and we have a 4-2 lead and Ronaldo here bringing through making his way into the box and he will pick up another penalty not quite sure how it is a penalty the keeper hit the ball fair and square but still we get it and uh, David Villa will complete his hat trick there and we win the game a 5-2 another 5-2 victory and then we head on into one last game with our Liga do Brazil inspired side and we come up against uh, quite nice squad here a bit of pace and then to wrapped on the top as well and uh, it was going to be a game where I didn't create that many chances but I had one really nice period here in the beginning of the match first off it's Ronaldinho Dinu there getting a shot and we pick the ball off with Mike and Lee and we'll pass it to Neymar who will lose the ball to start off with but uh, regain possession here and go past one defender and he will take on another one before he puts it into the far corner there to make it 1-0 but as I said not many chances in the game I get one here in the 18th minute make my way into the box but the shot is blocked and on the rebound the keeper will save it so the game ends at 1-0 and that will uh, pretty much be the end of the episode guys I hope you did enjoy it I will most likely have another one out again tomorrow and that's all thank you for watching and I will talk to you later <laughs> 